I have not had any complaint ever from my constituents uh, about travelling first class. It, no doubt this programme will stir up some opposition, but nobody's ever questioned it uh, because they, I believe, value the work that members of Parliament do and particularly the work that I do and the involvement that I have in my constituency. And they see the time that I spend on a train between my constituency and London as being time that I can use uh, but, for valuable work, study are, are uh, and there, preparation. There are tables in standard class. Sir Nicholas, you, you can sit in standard class among ordinary people who can't afford first class. Sometimes. Well, well, uh, and would you do that well, in the majority I mean, I of times? What? Would you sit in standard would class? Would you sit in standard class among the majority of people in work? If I was doing it in standard class, I would not do work because people would be looking over your shoulder all the time. Uh, there would be noise, there would be uh, distraction. And I'm sorry, uh, if I'm doing work, I want to concentrate on that. Uh, and uh, why do business people travel first class? Sir, Sir Nicholas, why do they travel listen, first class? Listen because to what you've just said. The that they get, the quiet that they get. Sir Nicholas, listen to what you I just what said. said. People would be looking over your shoulder all the time. Are you suggesting that there's actually a, a different behavior? here from people in standard class and there is in business class. Listen to yourself. Quite often, yes, I do. Why so? Because they're a totally different type of people. There's lots of children, there's noise, there's activity, uh, and all I can say is I like to have peace and quiet when I travel because uh, more often than not uh, I am working and I want to concentrate. So, Nicholas, the totally, the, to the totally different type of people are ordinary, decent people. And they're not look, a totally I've different type of person. People. They're not a look, totally look, different look, type of person don't, because they don't, don't have a couple, don't of, look, a couple of hundred quid extra to move into a different class of carriage. They're not a totally don't different type of person. I've been, in public, I've been in public life for nearly half a century. I've represented minors in, in local government uh, and I've represented the people of Macclesfield uh, for nearly 40 years. All I can say is I am in touch with my constituents and whether or not you agree with me or or whether or not some of them agree with me on this is irrelevant. The fact is, I believe it is okay. important and valuable that members of parliament should have privacy and be able to work uh, when they are okay. travelling distance I accept from their that. home I or their constituents in London. I well, that's it. Let's leave it at that, Well, then. well, well can you, just to clarify, and then I'll move on, can you explain what you mean by a totally, a totally different type of person? What do you mean? They have a different outlook on life. They, they are not involved uh, when they're traveling in, in economy very often. They may be reading a book, but I very much doubt whether they're actually undertaking serious work and study, reading reports, amending reports uh, that members of parliament do when they travel from someone, their constituency someone to in, London. Someone in standard class has a totally different outlook in life. Would you like to retract that? Oh, look, I, I, look, they very often have a different outlook. Of course they do, because they're in a different uh, area of activity. They may be travelling just because uh, they are on holiday or they're going to London to visit somebody. Members of Parliament are going to London to work. And a lot of people from my constituency, I can tell you, when they go from Macclesfield to London to work, travel first class. There, there, there would be quite a few people in standard class who are going to London to work. There'll be quite a few people in standard class who are sitting, working uh, on, on papers, and there would be quite well, a, a few. There would be, quite, there be quite a few people in standard who class, in class who would find it grossly offensive that, that, that you say they have a totally different outlook I in life because they're not in a different carriage. This is Ghetto Boys from Life.